The reason Ellie and I broke up was because she thought I wanted Maxie back. And the truth is, I do. Sean, hi. Could you watch Georgie for me for one second? Thank you. Um, Spinelli? What are you telling Nathan? I, I, I was just... You know, funny you should ask. Yeah, you know how Spinelli said that Ellie couldn't come with him because she had to work? Yes. Yeah, that was a lie. But not entirely. Ellie is, in fact, at the lab. No, they broke up. See, Ellie thinks that Spinelli's still in love with you. Oh, Spinelli told you that? Yeah, and that's not all he told me. He then went on to say that Ellie is right and that he is still in love with you. Can you believe this? Um, uh, Maxie, I'm really sorry, but I have to go, okay? You're going to have to take this little cutie. Okay, okay thanks. Yeah, thank you. Maxie, can you believe that Spinelli has been hiding this from both of us? Spinelli says a lot of things. And where, of course, he is super smart, he is sadly somewhat lacking in social intelligence. Okay. Look, Maxie, I owe you an apology, okay? I, I, I needed to admit the truth to Nathan, although it was hard for him to hear. Uh, you've been lying since you got here. It's just because I couldn't repress my true desires any longer. Why not? There's no need for fisticuffs. Well, you couldn't just let me do it my way. Wait, wait, wait. You knew? Maxie, did you know about this? If Spinelli told me. When? The night he got here on Valentine's Day. What, did he tell you about the breakup or... All of it. Everything he just told you. Wait, so you knew that Ellie and Spinelli broke up over you and that Spinelli's decided he still loves you? Okay, point of fact, one doesn't decide to be in love. It's not a voluntary emotion. The heart wants what it wants. Shut up. But I digress. Max, Spinelli confesses his love to you on Valentine's Day, and you you still you invite him over to play house with you and Georgie in your apartment? It wasn't exactly like that. Well, it wasn't not like that. Well, and you, it, it never occurred to you to tell me what was going on. Why not? Spinelli had just told me. And then you walked in. I, I didn't know what to say. How about the truth? Just blurted out that the father of my child, who I thought had moved on, is in love with me again? Well, not really again so much as still. Look, you could have just pulled me aside and told me. No, I couldn't have. Why not? Because I was too busy panicking. I, I made a spur-of-the-moment decision. Yeah, Ma Ma Maxie does that. Shut up. I will yield the floor, but out of courtesy, not out of intimidation. Maxie, you have been down this road before, all right? When you panicked and you made an impulsive decision about Johnny Zakara. That was a completely different situation. Yes, that was a felony. And that's not the only difference. You didn't seem to have any trouble opening up to Spinelli about it. He told you that I told him? I, I was being forthright. No, he was rubbing it in my face, using this as proof of how well he understands you. Spinelli! I was trying to illustrate the connect connection we still share. The problem is, Maxie, he's right. You confide in Spinelli. You do. When it comes to confiding in me, you leave me in the dark. Why is that? Maxie, what's going on? 